this is the process I didn't really think out, I guess, was getting it off of my hand. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel. I'm going to keep it plain and simple for you today. We are going to be trying to hydro dip my old Abu Garcia Silver Max reel. Uh, I've never really hydro dipped anything before in my lifetime, and uh, I don't know why I'm going to start with the bait caster, but I really want to trick this thing out and uh, just try to make it something a little bit more new. First thing that I had to do with this reel was break it down and give it a real quick cleaning, like I said. It's been a while since I picked it up, so the first thing I wanted to do was crack it open, see what it like inside, and uh, make sure we got off any grease. So when we do start painting this thing, it does not have any sort of issues, uh, you know, adhering to the actual reel. Um, so once I got that thing all cleaned up, we went ahead and took it out to the shop and decided to spray this uh, nice chemical on there that helps us remove that paint pretty easily. It uh, stated that it takes 15 minutes, but in all honesty, I want to say it took about 45 minutes uh, or at least like three attempts at 15 minutes. So it definitely was a lot longer process than I was expecting at first, but with a little bit of TLC and a wire brush, we were able to clean that reel up nice and pretty and get it ready for a cleaning. And by cleaning, I mean just a basic scrub down, get off any of that uh, paint remover and make sure that this thing is going to be nice and ready to get dipped in that hydro dip coat paint uh, concoction, whatever you want to call it. All right guys, got the chest cam on, got multiple views, so we try to make this as easy as possible for you guys to see exactly what I'm doing. Uh, looks like there's a little bit of hair in the water, so I'm gonna go ahead and skim that clean. Don't want no hair on my reels. Got a little block of wood right here, I'll test on. I'm gonna just test it out in this piece of wood. Just to try to better understand hydro dipping. I'm gonna save the black because I don't have a lot of black, but let's see. Okay, that already looks cool. I'm gonna back my camera up so I don't get paint all over the lens. And that's how you take the top off. Alright, so I know like the main purpose of hydro dipping is you want a complete sheet of paint. But once again, I'm just doing a little practice run since I've never done this. And I just to kind of go through it, go all the way under, push the, yeah, look at that, guys. It's almost like I've done this before, actually. This is nice. All right, so real quick, I'm going to move this paint to the side, grab a stick from my little scrap pile. There we go. Open this up so I can reuse the water. It also helps me get rid of any of that weird hair and stuff that was in there. There we go. Here goes nothing. trying to spray away from my camera right now. Black paint is just so much more dominant than any of the other paint. She's probably wearing a mask in here, too, especially because I'm in a closed area, but once 
again, it's just too cold outside. All right. Got a cool little effect going on. Now, what I'm gonna do is pull some of the paint through. Yeah. Try to quit a cool little effect going on in this little pool. I like what's looking over here, so I'm gonna try to dip this in there real quick without ruining anything. Here goes nothing. Oh my goodness, I almost dropped it. That is not how I wanted it to look. Wait, well, it's kind of coming through. Kind of looks a little okay now. <laughs> it's not really how I wanted it to look though, but it doesn't look bad. I want to put this down without messing it up. Let's see if I can. Well, this is the process I didn't really think out, I guess, was getting it off of my hand. Looked like that worked out. It's missing a little bit of paint right here. And a little bit of paint in there. I wonder if I can just fill it in. Oh well, get the thumb so it doesn't slip on me this time. That's what you want. You want to make sure you have a clear path to bring this thing out. That looks really, really neat. That came out perfect. Oh my God. <laughs> I just accidentally flipped that one off the spatula. So I'm gonna get redone real quick. Mistakes are being made, boys. You know, for as much as I've been flinging this thing around, it still looks pretty decent. This one might have too much paint on it now, but it's too late. This is one of the messiest things I've ever done. It's gonna ruin my workbench, I'll tell you that much, but let's see how this stuff turns out when it dries, I guess. Be back in a couple hours. I see some clumpy looking stuff, so hopefully that falls off. All right guys, so we're about a week and a half out and the reel is officially complete. It took us quite a long time just because uh, the paint didn't want to set. I had a lot of issues trying to reel symbol this uh, bad boy and when I did, I guess I put too much pressure on certain areas and it started shifting the paint. And, uh, it it kind of just was a little bit of an issue. Um, but regardless of that, I hit it with a blow dryer, got the paint right back to where it needed to be. And uh, here we go guys, Abu Garcia Silver Max with a pink, purple, and black splatter kind of effect. I'm going to call it like a plasma paint job because it reminds me of like uh, the plasma gun from Halo. If you guys are familiar with Halo, you might not be, but uh, hit it up with a Gomex power handle. Missed that. Hit it up with a Gomex power handle as well, and it is a 641 uh, gear ratio. I try to keep everything plain Jane. Uh, just wanted to paint the, the body, and uh, it came out really nice. We didn't even 
paint the interior. Honestly, I think that this thing pops really well. The chrome stands out, matches the handle, uh, matches the knob, the black you know, works really well with the body. And uh, all in all, I'm really impressed with it. Can't wait to get out there and test it out. Uh, brake works fine, all the dials work fine. I did have to do a little bit of fine tuning uh, with some sandpaper and a wire brush. Uh, light on the sandpaper, guys. I will say if you do do any of this stuff yourself, do not use sandpaper on the actual threads of your dial because you'll have issues. Uh, like I had. Um, but regardless of that, this thing's ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and slap it on a pole and get out there and test it. But that'll be in a future video because it is now nighttime and it is extremely cold. The bite is uh, shifting here in Texas and uh, it's, it's just been non-existent. But I'm glad we got this done. I'm glad we got this video shot for you guys. And uh, if you have any questions about, you know, hydro dipping your stuff, uh, I mean, I'm not an expert, like I said, it's my first time, but I can definitely give you advice on what I went through and what I picked up. I'll be making sure to leave all the gear below in the description as well, as far as like the paint uh, and I guess gloves, just some basic stuff. Uh, nothing really crazy, but um, yeah, if you guys are interested in picking it up, links will be down below. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, or if you learned anything at all, make sure you hit that thumbs up, helps out the channel a lot, and uh, hit that subscribe button too, so you can be part of all the future videos, and see how this thing does in the future, because we're definitely going to be fishing it. Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace.